Hello, and welcome to the PageVault training video. To start, we'll want to log in to the PageVault portal. To do this, you can go to portal.page-vault.com, or you can go to page-vault.com and click the client login. Once logged into the portal, you'll see your folder structure on the left side. When you click a folder, you'll see subfolders or captures on the right. To make captures, simply click the capture button up in the top right. You'll see a pop-up that says click here to start a new PageWorld browser session. Click that and it will begin connecting you to the PageWorld software. Once connected to the PageWorld browser, you'll see our landing page. We'll update this page with any major releases. The PageWorld browser functions just like any other web browser. At the top, you'll see your address bar where you can type in or paste the URL that you would like to capture. Once the web page is loaded, you can interact with the web page as you normally would. You can click on links, expand content, close pop-ups, any interaction you would need to do in a standard browser. Once you have the web page looking as you would like it to appear in the PDF output, you can click the Capture button. When you click Capture, the first thing you'll want to do is select the folder that you want your capture to save to. You can always select any folder you already have created or you can create a new folder, rename, or delete folders if you need to organize. I'll use the training video folder. The next item to select is the capture type. The default capture type is entire page. This will capture the entire web page from top to bottom. Beneath that, single screen will just get a one page PDF output of the content that we are currently looking at in the browser. Top to active will capture the top of the page down to the portion that we are currently looking at, and active to end will capture what we're currently looking at to the bottom of the page. I'll use entire page for this demo. Beneath that, you'll see the capture name, which is the title of the PDF document, a case matter ID field where you can enter a relevant case matter ID, and notes as to what you captured and why. The case matter ID and the capture notes will not appear in the PDF output. Once you have your settings selected, you can then hit Start to begin capturing the page. In the portal, click on the folder that you saved your capture to. You'll see the capture with a thumbnail image that you can click on to see a preview and a download button that you can download the PDF output. If you do not see the download button, that just means the PDF has not been generated yet. Refresh the page in a few minutes and the PDF output will be present. Let's take a look at the output real fast. Each of our captures will come with a metadata cover page that has the document title, captured URL, and the capture timestamp, as well as some other pieces of metadata. As we scroll down this document, we see the capture appears exactly as it did online. We have a little bit of overlap between page one and page two, and a metadata footer on each page as well. This will be consistent throughout the remainder of the document. If you need to capture bulk lists of web pages, documents, or videos, you can use our batch feature in the upper right. When you click the batch icon, it will bring you to a new batch drop request where you can kick off a bulk collection of web pages, documents, or videos. We'll walk through collecting web pages. To kick off a web page collection, simply select the folder that you would like to save to. You can always create a new folder, rename, or delete if needed. The next item is to give it a job name. I'll use web pages. You can then enter a case matter ID if that is relevant to you and your firm. At the bottom is our URL list. With web page collections, you can enter up to 500 URLs per job and have 10 jobs running at one time. With documents and videos, you can enter 25 URLs per job and have 10 jobs running at one time. I'll go ahead and paste in some URLs that I have already grabbed. When you paste in the URLs, it's important that each URL is on its own line like we see here in the browser. You also want to make sure that you have the HTTPS at the beginning of each URL. Once you have your URLs entered, 
simply hit Start Web Page Batch Capture to begin capturing that list of web pages. These captures will be saved in your portal in the folder that you selected. If you need to capture an entire website, you can do so in the Capture tool. First, enter the URL for the website that you would like to capture. I'll use Haribo.com as an example. Next, click the Sitecrawler button in the upper left. When you click Sitecrawler, you'll see two options, Crawl and Capture and Crawl and Link. Crawl and Capture will navigate through the website, finding the unique URLs for each web page available and automatically produce a PDF output of each web page. Crawl Only will simply navigate through the website finding the unique URLs for each web page and provide a list for you in your portal. With the layers to crawl, you can decide how many layers into the website you would like to go. The default is no limit. If you would like more information on what layers mean, you can navigate to our help page with the site crawler option. The URL maximum will decide how many URLs it is possible to find. The default is 2500, but you can raise this to 5000. If you're doing the crawl and capture, you can then select your folder. Once again, you're able to create a new folder, rename, or delete if needed. Once you have your folder selected, you can then hit start. This will begin crawling the website, and you can navigate to your portal to see the results. To capture Facebook content, it is important to be logged into Facebook in the PageVault browser. When logging in, we suggest to use an examiner account rather than your personal credentials. Social media platforms may have your profile picture, your name, your username, or people that you're connected with on the platform. We want to keep that personal information out of the captures as much as possible. Once logged in, Facebook is loaded as you scroll. So as you scroll down the page, it will load in older and older posts on the profile. You'll also see that the comments on the posts are hidden by default. Rather than scrolling through and opening this content up manually, we have our expand button in the upper left. When you click expand, you'll see a few capture options. Up at the top, the two capture types are standard and post by post. Standard is most frequently used for capturing entire Facebook profiles, Post by post is most commonly used to capture specific content from Facebook profiles or very large Facebook profiles such as companies, celebrities, or Facebook groups. The standard capture type has three capture options. The first one, scroll page only, no capture, no comments, will simply scroll down the page loading in older and older content, allowing you to use Control F to search for relevant terms or phrases in the profile. The second option, Scroll Page and Capture, No Comments, will scroll down the page, capturing the Facebook timeline as it appears in the browser. The last option, Scroll Page and Capture with Comments, will scroll down the page, loading in the older posts, capturing the Facebook timeline as it appears. It will then scroll back up to the top of the profile and begin opening any posts that have comments on them. If you select Scroll Page and Capture with Comments, you'll receive two separate PDF outputs. One output with all of the posts in the Facebook profile, and the second output will be all of the posts that have comments on them. The next capture type is Post by Post. The top capture option is Email Scrape. Please double check that the correct email address has populated. If it is not, you can always type in the correct email address that you would like the list of URLs sent to. The first option under Email Scrape is Scrape Only. This is simply going to scroll through the Facebook profile, collecting a full list of all of the URLs available, and emailing that list of posts over to you. The next option is Scrape and Capture No Videos. This will scroll through the Facebook profile, pulling the unique URL for each post, and automatically capturing each of those posts. It will not collect the playable output of any videos. The third option in the list will scroll through the profile, collect the list of URLs, email those to you, and begin capturing the most recent post in the profile. It will automatically kick off a batch job of collecting the playable output of any videos in the Facebook profile. The next capture option is Paste and Capture a List of URLs. With the Paste and Capture a List of URLs option, you can click the blue box and then paste in the specific URLs that you would like to capture. 
Once you have those URLs entered, click OK. It will tell you how many URLs you have queued up. At the bottom, you can select the folder you would like to save to. Enter any capture information that you would like, and then hit Expand and Capture. This will begin loading the first post that you entered, opening the comments, and saving this to your portal. When capturing content from Instagram, it is important to be logged in. Once again, we suggest to use your examiner account instead of your personal Instagram credentials. In Instagram, you're only allowed to view one post at a time in a standard web browser. Rather than clicking into each of these posts manually, you can click our Expand button in the upper left. In the Expand dropdown, you'll see these options. Scroll to the bottom to reveal full grid, which will scroll down the page, making sure all of the posts have loaded in. Get post URLs and email to will email you a list of posts from the Instagram profile. Capture Grid after expanding will capture the grid view of the profile that we are looking at now. If you would like to capture each post on the Instagram profile, you can check the box for Expand and Capture Each Post on Grid. This will open each of the posts up and all of the comments on those posts. It says 13 posts here because there's only 13 posts available on the profile. The bottom option is Capture Videos in Grid. This will capture the playable output of the videos in this Instagram profile. If you already have the URLs for the Instagram posts that you would like to capture, you can use the Capture a List of Posts option and click the blue box to paste in those specific URLs that you would like to capture. If you ever need any assistance with the PageFold software, you can click the Help button in the upper right corner. When you click Help, you'll see plenty of helpful information on the page, broken down by category of content that you're capturing. In the top right, we have our PageVault user guide, which contains step-by-step -step instructions for capturing content from different platforms. You can also click Join a Training Session to register for one of our training sessions that we host each week, Monday through Thursday, excluding holidays. In the very top, you'll see our Contact Support option, when you click Contact Support, you'll see our phone number at the top, a contact request form that you can fill out, and then our email address and other contact information at the bottom of the page. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. We are always happy to help.